back. Shalom, everyone. How are you? Do you hear something? I hear something. Oh, that's my friend, Stephen Squirrel. He's a little shy. Would you like to meet him? Stephen, come on out and meet everyone. Don't be scared. <laughs> Hello, Stephen. Hi, Mrs. Norman. Hi, everyone. Mrs. Norman, what are you doing? I'm coloring a picture of the high priest. Do you want to see? Y yes, yes. Please show me. Here he is. Do you see that he's wearing a blue ephod? And around the bottom of the ephod, he has bells and pomegranates. The blue represents heaven, and the pomegranates represent fruitfulness. Do you like to eat pomegranate seeds? I don't know. I don't think I've ever tried them. Oh, well, I brought some. Let me show you. So this dish looks like a pomegranate. Isn't that cool? And inside, we have so many pomegranate seeds. Look at this. Wow, there are so many seeds. <laughs> yes, the rabbis say that there are 613 seeds in a pomegranate, and the seeds represent the commandments of God. What do you think it means when we eat the seeds, which represent the commandments? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe doing the commandments? Exactly, and seeds produce? More fruit. You got it. We produce fruit when we obey God. And do you know what else the high priest wears? No, what? Bells. Exodus 28, 35 says that the bells jingle when he enters the holy place before Adonai so that he will not die. Die? Why would he die? Because God is holy, very, very holy. And we are not. We cannot go into his most holy place. In fact, only the high priest is allowed to go in and only one time per year on Yom Kippur to make atonement for the people. Mm, that's a little scary. Fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So it's good to be afraid? It's good to stand in awe and respect the living God but we do have a high priest who made atonement for us, who makes us holy as he is holy, so that we can approach God as our father and have him hear our prayers and know his love for us and be with him forever. Wow, who is the high priest who can do all that? It's not just a human high priest. The book of Hebrews tells us that the human high priests were a shadow of the Messiah. Messiah Yeshua is the eternal high priest who takes away the sins of the world. Hebrews 9 verse 24 says, For Messiah did not enter a man-made sanctuary that was only a copy of the true one. He entered heaven itself, now to appear for us in God's presence. And Stephen, do you want to read Hebrews 9, verses 11 to 12? Yes. It says, when, Mesh when Messiah came as high priest of the good things that are already here, he went through the greater and more perfect tabernacle that is not man-made, that is to say, not part of this creation. He did not enter by means of the blood of goats and cats, but he entered the most holy place once for all by his own blood, having obtained eternal redemption. Messiah Yeshua is awesome. Wow. Yes. I'll ring a bell for that. Me too. Shabbat, Shabbat shalom. shalom.